Hey everyone, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to Relevant Jukebox, and today we're going to talk about the newest album from Anamanaguchi, USA. So, Anamanaguchi are back for their first album in six years. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Anamanaguchi, they are a chiptune band. <laughs> yes, these guys sound like an indie rock band that's coming straight out of a video game, which actually became a reality for these guys when they soundtracked the video game for the Scott Pilgrim vs. The World in 2010. The closest comparison I can think of is that band Crying, because sonically, Anamanaguchi does share a lot of qualities with Crystal Castles, but they have more indie rock songwriting tendencies like Crying does. USA, in comparison to their last full-length album, Endless Fantasy, does have some welcome changes. For one, the songwriting is a lot less direct and has less dance elements fused in. They're working in more elements of noise and even shoegaze on here, with more live drumming and guitars, which I actually enjoy quite a bit. The synthesizers on here at times still do have that textbook chiptune kind of sound, but they're more vivid and lush, and there's some new sounds that they welcome into the mix. And there are even some passages on here that sound like they're coming straight out of a Vaporwave album, like on the end of the track, Lorem Ipsum, and on tracks like Tear, and even the closing track, Lom. This album actually reminds me a lot of their label mates, Kiro Kiro Benito's more recent output with that blend of like electronic and noisy twee pop that came off of their last album Time and Place or even that new EP that they just dropped this year. This album also feels a lot more vast in comparison to their last stuff. There's a lot more space that's surrounding these tracks and it gives them more of like this stadium rock kind of feel. The track Sunset by Plane is a good example with its like ascending intro that explodes into this like digitized wall of sound. I'm also really digging the guest vocal incorporation of Carolyn Lufkin on this track. That leads into another standout track in here, Air Online. I'm loving the pulsating groove that kicks this track off. And the chorus on this track is actually pretty catchy. It sounds like it's being sung by a character from an N64 game. And all of this concludes with a pretty thrilling ending that feels like you're going down a slide that's made out of candy or something. Another big standout on this album towards the back half of it was the song On My Own that features vocals from Hannah. I think the sound of her voice is a really nice fit with this band and it's nothing that special, but I do like how present her voice sounds in the mix here. It's kind of this like wonderful noise pop oasis. And it actually leaves me wanting more of her on this record even. But I mean, overall, I did have a lot of fun with this album. I think it might be their best yet. I'm loving how they're incorporating elements of noise and shoegaze on here. It's a lot heavier than their past stuff and more lush. I will say though, the pacing of this album is a little odd and it does run a little too long. The music is pretty fast paced for the most part with a lot of these triumphant builds, and they do their best to break this up with some instrumental passages. I mean, you really only feel the length of this record on the song Overwriting Incorporate, which I think that track just goes on too long. And when the band lets their instrumentation breathe on this record, it actually is pretty awesome, so I kind of wish they did that just a little more. But I mean, if you dug on their past work, or you really enjoyed Kiro Kiro Benito's more recent output, I think you're going to really dig this. And with that being said, I'm feeling an 8 over here on USA. So the good people over at Polyvinyl Records have a couple variants of this album out on vinyl. I'm pretty sure they did an early bird edition of this, but I think it's sold out. Right now on their website, they have a double colored vinyl LP up for sale still. And I guess when that sells out, there's still a traditional black vinyl. So links will be down below in the description as usual if you guys want to grab those. And as always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like down below. And if you want more content from me, make sure you subscribe. And you can ring the bell as well if you want to be notified when I put out my next review. Peace.